Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas if you haven't seen or heard from us at all. We're going to start getting back into our RV videos and then I think we're going to be doing some different types of videos over the next couple weeks. We're just in the studio today. She's doing some editing and then I'm just playing around with tags and whatnot. But I'm about to go out to the RV and start working on it some more. And I believe we're going to start with the bedroom and get that all torn out and ready to put new things back in. I'll be here editing because I have like 50 million videos to edit probably won't be in this video either. she's the brains of the operation she may not it may not look like she's here but she's here with us in spirit all right so i'm in here in the rv today i'm gonna start ripping out the bed and whatnot in the in the bedroom if you haven't seen any of the other videos go ahead and check them out we've got a lot done recently um we had a day off or a week off for christmas but we're gonna get back to it we're gonna start tackling other things this bathroom just need to finish ripping that out take the toilet off rip out the floor and just replace that everything else in here is all right just some paint and then the bedroom here is blue because the tarp on the outside but just need to rip out the side table the bed and the closet and then see how badly damaged it is back there yeah there's not too much to it we'll go ahead and rip it out and give us some more room that we can get some ideas on what we want to do. I know we got electrical over there in that corner. And we got electrical over there in that side table. But other than that, that's about it. Probably have to do something different for some lighting. Just one light in here will not be enough. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get to it. Alright, so I got the bed platform out so far. It's just a couple screws. Next, I need to get that cabinet out. Sorry, the side table and then the cabinet out. Rip out the rest of this carpet. And you can see there's a hump there. From there to here, there's storage underneath called the basement. You gotta go out to the front to get to it. There's really no perfect place to set the camera up, though. That should work. So, if you're doing this project, most of these electrical outlets are the same. To get these out, you got this little latch here. If I can get the camera to focus, right there. You just push them down. There's one on each side. Just be careful not to hurt yourself or have a roach pop out at you. Then you take that off and slide it back through just like that. So now you just have your electrical outlet. And that means this piece is free to go. Right out the window.
right, so it's all out. Looks like it's a, it was a little more worse shape than we thought. But the way these things are put together, expect the worst whenever you take on a project. I just gotta, I pushed all the insulation down up front just to keep it there. I'll just have to cut a piece for the top and a piece to cover that or I might just take it all the way across. There's not really anywhere for it to attach to here, so I'll have to come up with right here they just cut it in the triangle and mount it up there i'll have to do the same thing but that side is all rounded and looks good that side is rotted i may just figure something out there i don't plan on keeping this plastic outer shell in the long run all right so i'm back here in the rv today trying to get the bedroom portion squared away uh, get it ready to basically just insulate and put up some more paneling um, so I'm gonna set y'all up in a corner somewhere and just get a trash can in here and start throwing crap away ripping up the carpet and just trying to clean up the walls and get it somewhat livable Alright, so this was the closet area. I'm not too sure why, but there's two by fours in here holding everything down. Crooked as it can get. Like I said, I don't understand the reason behind it. I gotta get these removed so I get the rest of the carpet up. The more I take this apart, the better it looks. Versus out there, the more I took apart, the worse it looked. Alright, so that's pretty much it. It's not too bad. If I had some light on here, you'd be able to see a little bit better, but it just needs to dry out a little bit. It's not soaking wet. Spray some bleach on it, kill the mold. So far, so good. That's all the carpet. Just need to clean it out. To rebuild the top section and the lower section there. Looking good so far. The tarp is holding up quite well. It's staying dry. So this is it all cleaned up. I noticed some bad, a bad spot over there in that corner. It a bad spot over there in that corner. Other than that, everything else is good and solid. I still need to run a wire from back in here. It's this wire here, and it's supposed to run right across and down through that back wall. And it picks up these outlets here. I still need to do that, but I'm gonna have to get a hold of a junction box to make it safe. And then I need to get some more paneling to do the bottom and top part. Depending on how this turns out, I may have to cut out a section of this plywood and replace it. But other than that, this, that's all that's left for in here. Once all that's done, we'll do the floors, paint, and of course, the insulating of the ceiling and everything as well. I'll go down below to show you what this looks like. There's not much to it and there's no foam insulation. This is just a platform with plywood on it. All right, so here we're underneath the bedroom. Right here is where it steps up and it's for the platform. This is the area that the water damage was bad at and you can tell it's really spongy. But over here, it's not pushing up at all. That won't be too difficult to replace. Knowing where my structure is, if I have to add more supports, that's fine as well. Under here doesn't seem too bad. So we might be able to get away with that. Back in here is our basement, which is also underneath the bedroom. And this will be tackled in a future project because I'd like to use this for storage. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the bedroom. For today, anyways. The camera all nice and dirty. This is the other side. It's all covered up nice. It's pretty hot today. It's still December and it's still too hot. Come Thursday, I believe we got a good cold snap and I think we're gonna go fishing as soon as it does that. Make sure you clean up after you're done. If not, it looks like this. Sometime this week, I gotta take a day and clean all this up, haul it off to the dump. Then that should be most of the uh, most of the stuff that's getting ripped out. I mean, there's the old bed, paneling for the walls. There's all of our scrap from inside. We need to get a hold of a broom so we can clean all this out. But yeah, not much has been done with it being the holidays and whatnot. 
We apologize for the not having more for you, but we do have other videos. But we're gonna do our best to continue doing these RV videos and having them up every Sunday night, I believe. And hopefully get this thing done quicker than we expected. We were hoping to be done this month, but with finances and the holidays and everything, nothing ever goes as planned, but I know it'll turn out just fine. we will need to find a piece of wood to go straight across for the slide out and then replace the bottom pieces of the slide. We're just trying to do what we can while we can. Still need to replace the stairs. Just glad that most of the walls in here are good. Don't have any major damage. Alright guys, so that's all we have for you this week. Sorry it wasn't a lot, but with the holidays and whatnot. First of the year, we'll get back to it and we'll get this thing all cleaned out and ready to go. And start putting up some more walls and getting this thing moving ready. We're also putting out different videos the first of the year, so you're going to see more vlogs. Chow. More fishing. Challenges, fishing videos. So if you have anything that you would like to see, any ideas, Leave them down below in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed. Give it a thumbs up. Support us. Go follow us on all our social media. Everything's linked down below. And yeah, so if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye!